underscores our commitment to help enhance the abilities of employers to prepare for larger scale threats and emergencies by giving them the tools to experience them virtually with a high degree of realism before they can happen. And for many of our codes and standards, we've offered courses and training programs for years to, to ensure that they're understood and applied in the best ways possible. But what we share with you today is a new frontier for our training initiatives. One that leverages the power of gaming technologies. And this includes new interactive ways for learners to become involved in the training pro process, to experience it. Some call these serious games. Others have descri described it as digital games-based learning. But the power of these learning tools can be leveraged to help reduce problems such as workplace injuries. In Canada, more than 315,000 workers reported a lost time injury in 2007. That's, that's the size of a large Canadian city. And the Association of Workers' Compensation Boards of Canada recorded 1,055 fatalities in that same year. And obviously that's far too many considering the preventable nature of many workplace related deaths. Now one of the products you're going to see um, today is designed to prevent workplace accidents and injuries. It's called Engaging Witness. It's an effective way to complete interactive training and testing to employees who need to comply with a nat uh, national witness regulation, and that stands for Workplace Hazardous Material Information Systems. The Liberal Immigrant Talent Project has been through several phases over the past three years, starting with research with managers and immigrant professional employees. With the research results, we developed a learning model for managers based on effective talent management competencies. Managers are the key to employee engagement and productivity. You might have heard the saying that when employees quit, employees quit, they don't leave the company. They leave a bad manager. So what is a good manager to do, especially in a multicultural workplace? The TalentNet game is a free online learning game that captures the learning model we developed. In the game, the player must complete three missions with a multicultural team of characters. The first is to engage employees by building their trust. The second is to conduct performance appraisals that recognize and value their talent. The third is to select high potential employees for the company's leadership development program. Today's announcement is a testament to the importance of innovation in Ontario and its promise for the future, which is what OCE is all about. OCE is funded by Ontario's Ministry of Research and Innovation. Uh, we drive the commercialization of Ontario's world-class research. And today's announcement is testimony to the success of the strategy. It's the Ontario Innovation Agenda of Work, and it holds great promise for the economic future of the province. You're going in and you're, you're going to go through it, you're going to go through it with fresh eyes. It's going to be, um, you know, from, from scratch. You're going to learn the terminology, you're going to learn the clauses, you're going to learn um, about CSA Z1000. CSA Z1000 is an occupational health and safety management system. Okay. So it is uh, just like the OHSAS 18001 ISO standard. Mm -hmm. it, um, it meets the needs of, of your entire company. Um, it's a management system that you would implement to ensure that you are uh, properly using occupational health and safety standards. Uh, my name is Megan Newell and I'm a product development coordinator with CSA Standards mm -hmm. and I work with the e-learning products. And this product, the Response Ready, is to help uh, prepare for emergencies. And this is the first screen. We're just announcing our decide to play the game. This is our first scenario, the Big Joe's Gas Bar. Scroll to the right. We have House of Chairs, manufacturer of wood furniture. And we also have the Municipal Building and Railroad Track. Mm -hmm. So we're going to click on House of Chairs and it gives us some information about the building as well as the employees. And we also have some tips that will help us through the way. So we're looking for a potential hazard. Looking through the screen, and potential hazards, you put your mouse on it, and you will see it come up. So you click, and now we're going to look for, we're going to assess the severity and probability of this action, or this 
emergency and we can get advice from our advisors. Mm -hmm. So here's our advisor. It says that our staff is well trained. And a, high, a large scale spill is highly unlikely. So we'll go assess the risk. So he said the probability is not too likely, so we'll put a probability of one. And he said that our staff was well trained, so we'll put a severity of six, which puts our risk at six.